Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. We're out here at the New River today. Okay, going to do a couple passes with my Blackjack 42. We're going to be kind of working out the back of the dump truck. I don't feel like toting everything down there. So, uh, yeah, stick around. Big B with Ironclad RC. Let's get to it, you guys. Let's get to it. Uh, I only brought one set of packs for the boat, but they're my big, bigger packs. Uh, the wind was supposed to be like light and variable today, but it's not. <laughs> so I got my SRD V2 speed running drag packs, the 8600, 250C uh, big boy packs, okay? Uh, running the Hydra XLX2 and the TP Power 4070, okay? Um, got an ABC prop on. Uh, whenever I go speed running, the first thing I do is make sure my tugboat works. You know, I've actually flipped my boats out here and the tugboat was glitching out or something and uh always make sure this works especially on windy days so we got rudder and we got throttle all right so uh if you guys are new to the channel i upload videos daily i try to upload videos daily 7 a.m eastern standard time okay uh 7 a.m uh, every now and then i'll upload a video later in the day like a short or something but uh daily videos all right and we need to get our gps's turned on i'm gonna run two of them because i got my big packs i got my my speed run prop on it's really windy but i, I don't think we're going to do anything good today but we'll see it's got a new tune on it you guys see me tune about a week ago record i got my batteries pushed forward as far as i can basically get them i'm putting my gps up forward up here kind of keep some weight up up front all right got that one recording get this guy here recording record okay i actually uh just it, installed a power hd glitch buster on the boat all right you guys see this right here this is a glitch buster power hd i got it from offshore electrics uh let's see if it works because I, I just plugged i literally just plugged it in it goes into your your auxiliary channel on your receiver and um i was getting some 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 glitch a glitchy servo uh with with the xlx2 here lately when i give it full throttle so let's watch the rudder when we throttle it up so it's still doing it see that not as bad but it's still freaking doing it okay so everything's cleared out four miles per hour on that one because i was moving it around the cg is just behind the forward step okay about about a quarter inch behind the forward step all right and everything looks good all greased up oh yeah oh yeah so we'll actually at the after this run i'll do a mail day i got a, a package from one of my subscribers and um well, you, you guys will see it. I'll do it once we're done with this run. Okay, mail day. All right, pretty cool stuff he sent me. Really cool. Got my, my old gears turning, guys. All right, so here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Let's actually take this guy here down there. First, before we go. All right, here goes nothing. Of an odd wind direction. I'm gonna go up here and run this way. I think that's the best way to do it. Oh, 
Ooh, that was nice. Felt like she was wanting to pull to the right. I got my CG up so far, it's really touchy. That felt pretty good. I'm gonna get another run in. Let's do it again. Why not? Right? Why not? Felt like about 80. Kind of awkward right here, but I got to go with the wind. Kind of an awkward way to do it, but wind directions coming right out the creek right there basically here we go here we go that tune feels good full trigger Whew. <laughs> almost hit that stump sticking up right there oh man I got lucky with that I skirted for that stump. Let's see what we got. It almost looking like a little alligator head. Oh man, that's an adrenaline rush right there, you guys. All right, let's see what we got there. I felt great. I felt really good. All right, let's see what we got. Three good runs. Well, two good runs and one warm-up run. That last one felt good. I'm gonna get you guys zoomed out here. That's this is the exact same tune that I had whenever we did the tune in that one video. I had the Dominator. I think I had the Velez and a blackjack and we set the boat on glass and we did the tune. That's this is the same tune. Okay. Same exact tune I had on it that hadn't touched anything. Nothing. The only thing I did was put a piece of tape up here on that lip. Felt good. It felt like 80, 90, maybe 90. 90. 90 miles an hour. Temps feel good. My temp guns up at the, up at the truck. Ninety. Both of them are ninety. I, I I didn't really let it wind up long enough, but uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Hell, that's what I was getting with the stock boat. One hundred twenty-eight on the motor. One twenty-two. One fifteen. The ESC. One eleven. 115 on the speed control, 108, batteries, 96, wires, 120, 119, same temp as the motor, 120, 139 is the highest temp somewhere. That's good. There's no water in the boat, not even a freaking drop. That's freaking awesome. A 1988 3500. Okay, this is my baby right here. Got a toolbox that goes all the way across. All right, boom. Got shelves. My work truck. All right, boom. The bed actually dumps, and that side, that side right there, it folds down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this side right here don't drop down, but it, it, it's a dump bed. And uh, she's nice. She's nice. It's a nice truck. 88. I did a, a paint job on it about eight years ago. Put the billet grill, billet uh, brush guard on it. Got a 5.0 into her. Frankenstein 5.0, but it's a 5.0. <laughs> Frankenstein, like most of my boats are, you know. We interrupt the regular schedule program to bring you guys a real quick mail day. I got a package from Dale Shin. Uh, wasn't expecting the package, so let's open it up and see what's what we got. Okay, if you guys want to send something to the channel, whether it's something funny, something you're trying to promote, YouTube channel you're trying to promote, products you're trying to promote something funny uh stuff you got laying around the house 
get it with me through the email in the description, very bottom of the description, and we'll work out shipping arrangements. Uh, this is a surprise, so I have no idea what we got here. Okay, so I'm going to read this little quick letter real quick. This is freaking awesome, man. Thank you very much. I uh, just kind of peeked inside. So it's some stuff for my 6S Creighton, it looks like, and some boat stuff. That's freaking cool, man. Yes, sir, buddy. So we got a aluminum center differential brace gear cover from Hot Racing. Some sway bar Hot Racing mounts. Dang, two shock towers, front and rear hot racing. Holy moly, I haven't been running my Cratons, or well, I haven't been running a lot of my trucks. Okay, we got some hatch locks here. All right, those look nice. Aluminum spring-loaded hatch locks, okay? Oh, let's see what we got in the goodie box here. So we got, looks like a little speed control. If I had to guess, a 60 amp speed control if i had to guess it looks kind of a generic no no name brand there another hatch lock all right got something heavy here oh yes sir 5700 kv 2438 come on we're gonna put that to use you know it yes sir buddy yes sir buddy oh this feels heavy oh this feels <laughs> yes i love it man thank you very much dude that's freaking awesome a 4092 1730 kv i know where this is going <laughs> i know where this is going boy that's going in the dominator i don't even care i don't even care that's going in the dominator son 1730 kv Ooh. <laughs> dominator here we come boy <laughs> yes sir buddy man this caught me off guard man this caught me off guard all right so we got a it looks like an aviation speed control a 150 amp we could put a water cooling block on that and reheat shrink it that might be a cool project for a, a later date very good very good we have to see if that works with a pistol grip or a uh you know like a fly transmitters what else we got here oh man another one what the freaking what yes sir buddy oh <laughs> you guys know what time it is son. oh and this is something big what is this oh and it's heavy and i see big fat heavy gauge wire oh god oh no way dude dude i've been wanting this freaking speed control for so long oh man oh man it's bigger than i thought it would be holy schmoly now that's ironclad boy <laughs> that is ironclad son nice 400 amp opto this doesn't have a bec so we'll have to put a bec to it three to 16s oh yeah you guys know what time it is we got all kind of cool projects coming up now boy and we got a, a 70 amp esc right here with a water cooling block come on come on oh we got another something something here what we got going on yeah oh nice what is this oh so this is a generic motor unknown kv it's actually the next day, you guys. I kind of had a chance to look at everything, do some measurements, and uh, kind of calm down because um, that was a lot to take in. I had no idea this package was coming, and that's uh, that was really cool, Dale. Thank you very much, man. Very much appreciated. And it, was, you, it went to a good home. You know, I, I'm, I may not use this stuff today, tomorrow, <laughs> or the next day, but uh, it will get used at some point or another. Some of the stuff I'm putting to use like right away. I got some ideas, so I'm going to kind of go over what uh, some of the stuff and what some of my experiences with some of it and what we're going to do with it. I like the sticker. The sticker's going on the Dominator. <laughs> it matches me to a T. Um, now, I was actually going to try to put a set of these on, like, my Sonic Wake V2 or my Blackjack 42. So I'm going to try to see if it'll work. You know, that way you guys have an option for that boat. All right, and I made a mistake with this motor when I unboxed it. It's a, I thought it was a 2438. It's a 28. 2838 5700 kv surpass hobby motor okay so i'm actually thinking about putting this in my small bolt that might be a good motor for the small bolt okay run it on a 2s 
maybe 3S, you guys know me. Now this one is a 2435, unknown KV. It looked like it come out of a, a ready to run or something. So we'll put that to use at one point or another. Uh, the good thing about this motor, it has a 3.17 shaft. So that's freaking awesome. It don't have some oddball shaft. Both of them have uh, common shaft sizes. Um, I've had this ESC in the past. It's a $25 eBay special. I've had, I, you know, it's been years since I had one. But um, I, I got like two packs through it <laughs> and it was over with. But um, we're going to run it in one of my boats one day. We'll see how long it lasts see what kind of power it's got you know now me knowing a little more about the hobby than i did two or three years ago and um you know it'll give you guys an idea of what you're buying if you guys wanted a cheap esc i, I don't recommend these so uh we'll just have to test it out one day now these i uh, originally thought they were aviation but they may may not be it looks like he's re-shrunk them added a cooling block we'll have to see if it's compatible with the pistol grip but i'm thinking if it is compatible with a pistol grip I'm thinking I could put one of these in my Delta Force 23 Mini Sniper. That boat has a 2968 rocket motor in it, 3400 kV, and I'm running in that rocket motor on a 90 amp dynamite. It's a 90 amp continuous dynamite. This is 150, don't know if it has a burst. Normally these cheaper ESCs don't, but um, it might be a good upgrade for that dynamite 90. We'll have to see, but that's what I'm that's the plans are for one of these uh and uh we'll see how it goes you know what i'm saying so we'll try that in the, in the mini sniper this is going in the dominator like i said this leopard hobby 4092 1730 kv all right the the, the wines in it look mint no discoloration uh yeah yeah so we're definitely going to put this in the the dominator okay we should be able to run some big props on the dominator with this motor this is a 6s capable motor i'm pretty sure you can't run 8s on it yeah, I don't think you can. Strictly success. So um, we'll definitely give that a shot in the Dom. This ESC, like I said earlier, I was really excited to see this because I've always wanted one, but I've always been afraid to pull the trigger. You know how it is with some of the cheaper China ES electronics, you know, uh, or what you know, oh, you know what I'm saying, unnamed brand, which I think this is a, 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 a pro marine, basically a pro marine basically you know i could be wrong but look at the power wires you got two eight gauge positive two eight gauge negative so a series connection on this one a series connection on this one that way you can run 4s 4s on this side 8s 4s 4s on this side 8s 16s okay it's got the um anti-spark wire right here okay you can it's got a we, I'm gonna have to get a program box for it. I also think you can get a, a dongle or something to hook up to your laptop. All right, but um, very nice looking speed control. Eight gauge wires coming out. Man, man, man. And I want to say it's 400 continuous, 500 burst on the newer fighter uh, flyers, flyer ESCs. Uh, I don't know if this one has a burst, but um, you know, this is the batteries I would run it on. These old old rc lipo 6100 c uh cheap batteries and i was like messing around i was like but well, damn this might be pretty fun for a few runs you know run it with this spectrum motor on 12s okay that motor will take 12s it's a 1350 kv i've done the math it'll take it okay work out it's gonna be heavy in this boat i'm just gonna be playing around with this that's what the hobby's about playing around having fun you got something that sparks your interest in your mind you know an idea you go for it okay and if it don't work in this boat i was thinking about putting the this back in the blackjack 42 with the flyer 400 running this motor on 12s in the 42 okay might be fun might be fun all right so uh so that's freaking awesome man thank you very much so i'm actually going to show you guys another motor i just picked up i just got this in um i use this power hd Glitch Buster, I used that today on my 42, and it didn't really solve that that glitch in the rudder when you give it trigger. So we're going to have to go back to the drawing board with that, or use the Flow Pack RX Cat Pack, okay, for the 42. I picked up this Leopard Hobby motor from OSE a couple days ago, and um, I, I got it for, I got this, this is a 3660 X2 motor, okay, 3660 3180 kv i bought this for the recoil 2 okay that's what we're going to run it in that's going to be a permanent home for this motor 
pretty sure. But before we throw it in the recoil too, I think I'm going to put it in my Blackjack 24. We're going to basically do a comparison with the X2 3180 and the Hobby Star 3660. 3250 kV so it's basically like a hundred kV uh, away from one another so that might be a cool comparison because I've run so many motors in the blackjack 24 why not try another one you know what I'm saying yeah yeah you guys um so yeah I appreciate it Dale thank you very much sorry to keep you guys so long sorry about the long video we'll see you guys next time big shout out to all my subscribers we're almost at 10,000 I'm working on my store trying to get some stickers and shirts designed so when we hit the 10,000 everybody can get ironcladded out okay we'll see you guys next time Big B, Ryan Clyde RC.